Good evening, everybody. Come on in. Time for dinner. I'm on the stove, and I'm going again. Something short and sweet. I thought I was going to do pork chops, but instead we're going to do some chicken, and I am going to call it some fried chicken drumsticks, buffalo style. And what I'm using, somebody gave me a box with about 40 packs of this burrito, I'm sorry, buffalo dip mix. It has a very good taste to it. I've already seasoned my chicken now with my usual seasoning. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of this buffalo seasoning on them. I'm going to put some flour on them. And just put it all, pretty much all of it. This is two, four, six, seven. Yeah, seven um, drumsticks. And as you can see, they're pretty good size. You know, it's just so hard these days to find small chicken or chicken parts. I don't know what that's about. Well, just glad to be able to find any at all, you know. So, hope you're having a God-blessed Wednesday. Hope you've had a blessed uh, rest of the week so far. Re week before, uh, over the weekend. Hope you had a good weekend and that your week started out pretty good. I don't think I'm going to use all this. I didn't realize there was that much in there. Let me just do this right quick. So that does not get onto my hand. You know what? I just don't like wearing gloves. And it seems like it's always a thing for me. Whew. I used to gloves with this chicken. It's raw chicken. I try to put the feather. So, what have y'all been doing? How's the weather? We've been praying for uh, sisters and brothers throughout the country, all over the uh, all over the country, where we've been getting snow and some rain and some flood. And I'm saying we're going to get some ice here in North Carolina starting tonight. The last couple of days has been nice and sunny, but it's cold. I've had my heater running pretty much straight through. So we've been having some very, very winter weather. But I hope that um, our sisters and brothers, I understand in Texas, I haven't looked at the news at all today. I just chose not to. Some days I just can't do it. I, I just cannot. I'll just take a day and not even look at the news at all. So today was my day not to look at the news. But Tony was telling me about the devastation. That's another feather. Telling me about the devastation in Texas. You know, when this kind of weather that comes upon us that we're not used to, you know, we're just not prepared for it. Just like anything else, if you're not prepared for a thing, it's going to be that much harder for you to deal with. So, okay, we're praying for you and we uh, hope that things go well, that you will be able to weather the storm, so to speak. Just continue to pray without ceasing, like we always say, and know that God is able to bring us through anything. So, okay, I've got my chicken all seasoned up, so hold on just a minute. I'm going to get my flour over here, and I'm going to go ahead and get ready to start uh, putting this chicken. It's going to take about 15, 20 minutes to fry it because they are pretty good size. Uh, drums. Um, we're going to just fry them up and I'm going to make um, a apple and orange sauce to, you know, drizzle on when we eat or dip them in or something like that or however we decide we want to dip. You know, uh, use the buffalo season goes well with the ranch or the sour cream based dip. So I'm going to do a little sweet dip also. Okay. And I'm going to do some, just some uh, seasoned rice with black beans. Um, you know, you think about, I was looking through cookbooks for different uh, recipes to represent our African American history celebration. And, you know, when we look at uh, the Jamaican cuisine, African cuisine, uh, I was looking, doing some, a uh, little bit of research. Somebody asked me about the Gullah people. Our seasonings are all the same. I think it's just the way we put our food together. So, I cook all the time and have been, like I've told y'all, for 
60 plus years so I think I've cooked just about some of everything so uh, I saw some Gullah red fried rice and it, it required some uh, tomato sauce in it well I know that my family doesn't particularly like rice with tomato sauce in it like that so I decided to just go ahead and, and do so let's do these black beans and uh, we'll see how that comes out so hold on just one sec okay quick and easy I went ahead and put my flour into one of these Ziploc bags and put the chicken in and just shake it just make sure you shake it all around so the uh, <clears throat> chicken is well coated with the flour I didn't put any uh, milk wash on it this time because I got that uh, that buttermilk I'm sorry that uh, buffalo seasoning and my, I'm afraid it might start browning too quick so I just left it so just make sure all your pieces are well battered and then just start dropping them make sure that grease is nice and hot not too hot because you don't want to brown too quick this, these got to cook a total of about 20 minutes 10 minutes on each side is what I'm going to do it okay Okay. Get a little bit closer down there if you like it. Okay. I knew I was going to waste the flour. I thought I had gotten by without wasting flour, but didn't quite make it. Okay. So all the chicken is in. And see what I love about these Ziploc bags when you get done with, you just fold them up. Take that glove off and drop it right in the trash okay now i'm gonna let this chicken cook like i said about 10 minutes on each side and because they are big pieces of chicken i'm going to put me a lid over the top of that so that steam will cook through and make sure that chicken cooks all the way through so i'll be right back okay that buffalo chicken is cooking along nicely so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and do the, get the rice started so i'm going to use this little baking dish here and I have already got rice already cooked. I cooked this huge pot of rice Sunday when I did the uh, gumbo. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, just use some of this cooked rice that I already had because that's what, exactly what it calls for, the cost of cooked rice, uh, the recipe that I'm making. So black beans and rice is fairly easy to make. You can make it all the way from scratch. You can cook your black beans. Uh, if you'd like to, <coughs> excuse me, or you can go ahead and uh, get some canned ones. That's what I did. I'll show you the ones I got. Okay, these are black beans. I got these from the commissary. They, this is a new brand, Freedom's Choice. And they're good. Tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. I rarely cook black beans anymore. I used to cook them a lot uh, when I learned how good they were with pork, but I hadn't cooked black beans in a while. I'll do pinto and great northern, but not anymore. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead. I'm going to use about two cups of this cooked rice. And for, the, for this bean uh, recipe because you don't want too many so remember I did the rice on I may or may not have that I'm not sure if I did a demo on the rice but this is just rice is seasoned with um, butter chicken broth uh, seasoning mix and uh, listen guys this meal is done so thank you all for tuning in thank y'all for stopping by on a wednesday night keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down until i decide to cook again now pray without ceasing keep those prayers going up i love you thank you so much for supporting me for praying for me and for encouraging me so until next time to the loo